I am not Dave, I'm Tommy. This is Jeff D'Lo, this is Donnie. Uh, Dave hey, left, he said, Tommy, I need you to host the rundown today. I don't know where Big Cat is. KFC is doing a two hour CCK, so I wrangled up this crew. That's pretty um, cool though, that you're the guy that Dave goes to when he has no Yeah, I guess so. I mean, usually I'm, I'm kind of sitting there fact checking, so it would have been up to me, I think anyway, to oh, rile yeah, up true. a crew. I yeah. probably wouldn't have been, chose myself to host. Uh, Humble First man. time ever hosting in the HR I've been on before. Uh, we have a pretty decent day of topics. I see you two. I wanted to get people out. I think people like. I, I, I hope people see the thumbnail and they don't like. Oh, I'm gonna kill myself if it's this trio. Uh, so hopefully that won't Probably be the case. Probably gonna have a few of those. Um, all right, we're gonna start off with Lil Wayne. Uh, might be facing up to 10 years in federal prison. Uh, they found weapons and marijuana on his private plane. Unclear uh, if he'll actually end up facing charges and going to jail. But Nate blogged this. He had two takes I agreed with. Uh, shout out, Nate. On a private plane, you could pretty much bring whatever you want. I don't know wh why he, like, they shouldn't, that should not be able to be searched. Yeah, first off, that stinks. Yeah. That's a shame. Yeah, but for, I, for a little I guess way, you can't, like, because I think when Juice World died, it was because he heard there were going to be, like, police at the airport when he landed, and they had loads of drugs. So he was like, I'm just going to do all the drugs now. And then he took huh, too many. I never knew that. Didn't know Juice that either. World, uh, I, my Juice I, I World take that I always say. Like Juice World. Are you sure on that one? <laughs> so, well, yeah, he died at the airport on lots of drugs. I don't know if that was the motivation, mm. but yeah, the, the rumor is because he knew the like all the all the uh, all the police were going to be there. So he was like, "We'll just I'll do them all now." No dead guy has ever put out more music than Juice World. Every every new Music Friday, he's featured on Spotify. It's yeah, uh, he's a lot incredible. of featurings. Yeah. Um, but also brought up uh, Lil Wayne. Is this why he befriended Donald Trump for a potential pardon? Ooh, yeah, because I I think this happened back in That's 2019, and like he's being charged now. So, yeah. That's a good take. Yeah, I mean, I if you're great <laughs> original take, Tommy. Original, I think it was Joey Langone who actually said it first. I saw Nate referenced your take um, in his blog. Yeah, he referenced me and Joey Langone's take. But no, it's true. I mean, a lot of people are like, oh wait, like that's kind of random that he randomly comes out with support of Donald Trump. But it, if you're gonna befriend <laughs> the president, the, I think the first thing you do the next day is probably commit crimes to get pardoned. Mm -hmm. Getting pardoned seems like a lot of work and rarely happens. Like Marion Jones, the old Dude, Olympic runner, how who announced our pardons. <laughs> They're announced. Some get swept under the rug, like okay. news dumped. I know most things about politics and pardons through the West Wing, and that's about it. Uh, this led us to uh, Casey, who is like Lil Wayne number one super fan, was very offended when people started to say that Lil Wayne is washed up. Uh, where do you guys stand on that? So he's not washed up. I would say he's kind of just in a sort of early retirement, where like he can he, like he should just be chilling. He doesn't even have to put out another album the rest of his career. And he's, he's still considered like a legend in the rap game. Averaging a couple hundred beers every week. Not to mention all my underwear now has streaks. Cause when you're drinking like that, your ass starts to leak. And that might be a little too much info. But I'm just going crazy, I haven't seen my kinfolk. So let's flatten the curve like putting on Spanx. And kick COVID's ass word to Tom Hanks. I don't know what he's doing like. He's also so wealthy still that, like, why doesn't he have a guy in his crew who's just, like, the dude who has the guns and the drugs right. if the police the ever guy. show up? Yeah, like, that's kind of just Chris Carter. Lil Wayne has no reason obvious. to own guns himself. Yeah. Yeah. I would say... When you have a lot of money, though, I mean, you spend it. Yeah. You spend it, but, I, 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 like, have somebody else spend it. Have somebody be... You have a gun guy. You have a drug guy. You have a, a whatever mm -hmm. guy. Um, and um, I don't know if I'd use the word washed up. But I think it's just like he went through maybe 15 years of just heavy drug use. So right. I think he's maybe a little drugged out now. I don't think Lil Wayne is washed up. I thought the album he put out two years ago was not terrible. I forget what it was called, but it had Uproar and some other songs on it. Like I, he's Eminem? definitely not as good as he once was. I'm not the biggest Eminem fan. His last uh, album was... I find his voice to be rather <laughs> irritating, and I feel like people are really going to get on me for that. That but, Venom, uh, song, that Venom song was one of the worst. Oh, he, actually, yeah. he actually just put out an album, I think, in like February, a song called Stepdad. One of the worst things I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. Hey, Tommy, can I chime in with a presidential pardon fact here? Yes, I'll out. Uh, thank you. Uh, President Bill Clinton pardoned his half-brother Roger in 1984 for cocaine distribution charges. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, that's a good perk of being a good, president. Most good pardons. And let me just say, Michelangelo, your role is underappreciated. Thank most you. Most pardons yes, happen it it's at not the easy. end of yeah, the administration. Right before. 
Yeah. yeah. It was with 140 days to go in his. And uh, that's like, that's early almost. Like, yeah. usually a lot of it it's will like happen right week. under the wire. Yeah. Like, again, the West Wing. Well, he, he pardoned on, like, fucking that inauguration was like, day. I've seen Twitter conspiracies that Trump is going to step down with, like, a week to go and then have Pence pardon him of any possible wrongdoings yeah. that he's had. That would set people yeah. crazy. Really? You think? No. Jeff, I actually read that wrong. It was on the last day in office. Yeah, like, that's... Yeah. It, with like, 139 other I, I love that. That is a sneaky, great thing to um, have in your pocket as a president. All right, Twitter introduced fleets. Basically, it's just Instagram stories, Snapchat yes. stories. You can put up a tweet or something for 24 hours. I don't have it yet. I think it is unbelievably stupid, and I cannot think of one possible reason to post one. That has to grind Snapchat's gears so much that we immediately say Instagram stories. Ooh, yeah. yeah. That's well, Instagram has just stolen everything from everywhere. And they just make it I better. I think Twitter's just getting in on the game right now. Yeah. I mean, it's, this, this is not one of those ones. You know a lot of Twitter features, people lose their fucking mind. Yeah. Yes. It's like, it's over. The site's done. This is one, like, a little getting used to the thing at the top. Not even, Like, Instagram, you they flip, switched a button around. Yeah, now you just don't know how to use the app. Yeah, like, that, that, that annoys me. That get over. But there are people who, they're going to talk about fleets for the next two weeks. Well, so the, the one positive for fleets, I think maybe PFT brought it up, is... I don't think it was him, actually. I'm going to take back that credit I just gave CFT. Uh, you know, on Twitter, it's so, like, in the moment where if you don't see a tweet right away, you might not see it unless it gets retweeted later on. Now, I mean, if you put something up on fleets, it sort of has more of staying power. Yeah. And I, I do like the idea, too, that, like, there are times where you want to post something, maybe like a picture, but it's, like, a really brief. Like, I, like the other day, Donnie and I, big master class in ordering noodles delivery, Oh, I yes. didn't know ramen noodles, like a fancier place, they give you the noodles uncooked. I had no mm. idea. And then That's somebody thought I was married place? and it was a whole thing. Yeah. That's pretty They stupid. thought you were Ken Jack and they thought Ken Jack was married. I yes, think that correct. That's what happened. Yeah. yeah. But, so, but like that, that was probably more of like a fleet quality thing than mm -hmm. a full on tweet. Yes. It's like, yeah, I, I can see, like today I fleeted Frank the Tank yelling at Big Cat. That was a good fleet, I think. Yeah, I, I, I have yet to see how. I think Coley has just been uh, posting graphic pictures of animals um, <laughs> on fleet. So it'll be interesting to see who sort of becomes the king of fleets, how they sort of direct that. Well, fleet would oh, and I do hope you'll be able to do a swipe up on fleets to sell That'd like merch cool. or whatever. Like that would, that would be help big. a lot. Here's that the concerning thing about fleet. It's like fleet. the main part of Instagram stories. Twitter is the worst when it comes to DMCA's and getting like a, yes. stuff taken down. You don't like. You don't want to be the first one to get like, well, can your stuff get pulled on fleets? That, that's an excellent question. You post a funny Honestly, movie I, I still can't see fleets, so I don't even know what a fleet hmm. looks like. That's it's just shame. a picture, or is it like a tweet? Could be a video. Could it be could a picture. be whatever. Okay. And you I, can also tweet your fleets. Yeah. Yeah. There is an it. option. Uh, second half of the rundown is brought to you by Viore. Viore is a new perspective on performance apparel. Perfect if you are sick and tired of traditional old workout gear. Everything is designed to work out in, but it doesn't look or feel like it is. It's so comfortable, I want to wear it all the time. The product is incredibly versatile. It can be used for just about any activity, like running, training, yoga, but also great for lounging or weekend errands. Viore is an investment in your happiness. For our listeners, they're offering 20% off your first purchase. Get yourself some of the most comfortable and versatile clothing on the planet at viore.com slash rundown. That's V-O-U-R-I, V-O-U-R-I dot com slash rundown. 20% off your first order and free shipping on any U.S. orders over $75. Once again, go visit viore.com slash rundown and discover the versatility of Viore clothing. Or we've got through both ads. I like reading ads, actually. Uh, it's like a little ASMR for me. It's uh, comforting. You could whisper in their ear how sexy they are. And if you could nibble on their ear for that really good sound of <laughs> I, could, I could see that being effective. Uh, next up, we have Conan is leaving late night TV at the end of his contract in June 2021. Uh, he's leaving his late night show on TBS and believed he's going to be getting some sort of variety show on HBO. Yeah. I'm a huge Conan fan. I think I know nobody really watches him anymore because he's on TBS. I think he's the naturally funniest late night host. I think he's the only one that doesn't rely on like gimmicks or just every joke being about politics. I think he does a lot of funny like sketches. Jordan Slansky, one of the great one of the great producers in the game. So I think it's actually better suited for Conan. If it's gonna be like a true variety show with his um, 
what's it called in the industry? Off offsets when they go and do remotes. Man, remotes. His remotes. Man the like street. a lot yeah. of his remotes. Um, I think it'd be very funny. First off, fuck Jay Leno. I'm yeah. a, I'm, a, I'm a, a Conan guy through and through. Okay. Jay Leno can go fuck himself. Uh, that's just blanket statement. Yeah. No, I think everybody kind of. Uh, I agree that. with you. Like, comedy's subjective, but I think your I think your take is correct. He's the best one. He didn't fall victim to like the only talk about politics on late yeah. night TV thing. He doesn't do the shticky gimmick garbage like Jimmy Fallon doing three musical impressions pretending the wheel is a live thing. Yep, just fake laughing. Or beer pong. Nonstop. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. He he tried to tinker his show to not be the same as everyone else, and he's like, yeah, you know, I can do something different and better. And, and his, you're right, his, his man on the street, his remotes are the funniest things on late night TV. He is so naturally good. Uh, he has one with Ice Cube and Kevin Hart, where they go through like the streets of LA and uh, you, in a lift, right? Yes, and they're yeah. getting on Conan for acting like very white, <laughs> and they go to a Wendy's, and he's like, "How mad would you guys be if I got an Asiago chicken club <laughs> flatbread right now?" And uh, makes me laugh every time. They they go yeah. in, they go to the ga the gas station, and he buys like an old DVD and like. Like it was like one beer because they they wanted beer yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah. It's it's Jordan Schlansky. So if it's gonna be more it. stuff like that, I'm yeah, all for it. Yeah, like he started to do a fair amount of travel content too. I know he went to Japan and like yeah, he went to North Korea. Family. Like uh, well, in, like in Japan you can rent a girlfriend, you can rent a kid, you can rent a parent, and he just rented a whole family. And I was like, that's Gene Ike. Why didn't I do that? So, he yeah. he is, uh, I think, the best of all the late night people. The most creative. Willing to change, he's not gonna get stuck in doing the same shit. Like Colbert, Kimmel, Fallon, there it's just so bland and boring and I just it stinks. Yeah. And he got uh, he got bodied off in Orkidi because Jay Leno fucking sucks. His uh one thing I noticed from watching a lot is anytime he had a comedian on, he would go over and he'd say, That was great, that was hilarious, that was fantastic. And I made a, a one minute compilation video of him saying that was hilarious, that was hilarious to every comedian, Michelangelo, if we want to throw that in there. That was hilarious. I love that. Thank That's you. hilarious. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's hilarious. Hey! That's hilarious. Hey, Mark. Hilarious. Hey. I didn't mean to frighten you. That's hilarious. Thank you. Um, really, some of my best work. Really thought it would go viral. Did not, uh, but might be gaining some steam today. So check that. Well, out. I'm pretty sure Jim, Johnny Carson very famously, like, if he got up and congratulated you. That means you, right. you crushed it, and if he didn't, imagine that. Not the case with Conan. Imagine Everyone that. Everyone just played. That was hilarious. Yeah. That was great. Your life's work. You think you crushed yeah. it, and Johnny Carson just sitting on the desk, like gives you a wave, and that's it. You yeah, know that you tough. stunk. Yeah. Um, next up, we have George Clooney. So this is an old story that he gave 14 of his best friends one million dollars each. He sort of talked about it for the first time today. Uh, said that some rich guy in Vegas one time was like, "Why would you do that?" And he responded, "Why wouldn't I do that?" Or something like that. So my question, if you were as rich as George Clooney, how many friends are in your million dollar circle? Um, five. Do you know the five? You don't have to li list them. <laughs> yeah. Evan, <laughs> Ethan, Landon, John, Cameron. Okay. Whoa, he's Sounds like a little the cast of like the real world thing. or yeah, something. No, those, are my, those are my friends yeah. back home in Austin. That's my, <laughs> yeah. my, my really tight knit. I'd be like one or two who I'd be like, you know what? Throw a little Right. Yes. Well, and Change. it also he didn't just like hand out the millions of dollars completely out of the blue. It was right when he sold his tequila company. Yeah. So right. it's like he's already a, like extremely successful actor, and then when he just got all of this money from now being like from now being the owner of a liquor brand, he's like, this is almost free money. It's on the house. He I'm, brought him to, to like to a friends. dinner, right? He brought him to a dinner and then informed them all, or like there was in an envelope or something. He brought them all like. Just check out what's in I there. Would, it's a uh, million bucks. I, if I was as rich, I'd, I'd give a lot of money to friends and I'd hold it over them. I'd remind them, like, Absolutely. I, I, I know I'm, you would. I'm better than you, and that's why I'm able to You'd pay do a for this. Plan. Right, that's why I'm able to pay for this. You dinner. would say, Here's and now a million you have bucks. to hold all the guns, all the drugs. And <laughs> right. like you, would, yeah. you would do yeah. a payment well, plan where you'd be like, every month, you'd be like, you're being a dick, you're not getting your money this month. Yes, yes. I, I would pay people as long as they were nice to me. And yeah. then if I felt, oh, that was a little bit insulting, uh, you know, I, I take back that little <laughs> yeah. payment. Uh, I, I would truly be an unbelievable dictator. Um, next up, we have. Uh, I don't think we're the biggest NBA crew, but it was a big. I mean, I'm uh, an NBA fan. Trade uh, Pelicans trade Drew Holiday to the Bucks for three first-round picks, two first-round pick swaps. It is a big haul. Drew Holiday is a great two-way player, and the Bucks might only have one more year with Jonas. It in does this window. sound like, though, it does. It's being becoming that increasingly he's clear that he's going to sign the supermax. And if he's going to sign the supermax, I think it's a great move. Now, the funny thing is, is that. Like usually, 
teams well like teams will say like they should have done whatever it takes to keep him. Like that's usually like LeBron, Bosh. Right. Like they, what do they always say? KD. It's like they should have done whatever it takes to keep him. Well, this even if he doesn't resign, this is literally whatever it takes. This is what people say teams should be doing every time. And, so like and I don't know how critical you can be of that. Even if he doesn't sign the supermax, it's giving you a one-year window where they have him, right. uh, Drew Middleton, where they should. Win. Actually, Ben. Do you want to come on here? Ben is a Pelicans fan. Uh, so I oh, and, and they got Bogdanovich was, was just as pivotal of a, a trade. Bogdanovich, yeah. Drew, Middleton, Brooke Lopez. That team is a defensive jugger. So, Ben, between the Anthony Davis trades and now this, I think you guys have, like, all of the first-round picks? Yeah, so anything involving the Lakers and the Bucks the next seven or eight years, uh, hopefully things go real, real south and Giannis leaves the Bucks, and that'll look like a genius move for the Pelicans. But as you said, if the Bucks do lock Giannis up to the super extension, it makes a lot of sense for him. Do you like this move? As a, as a Pelicans fan? Yeah, I, feel like, I, I do. I almost feel like they had something building with Zion. Like well, They still do, though. When you look at the core with Lonzo Ball, Zion, Brandon Ingram, Jackson Hayes, they got a lot of young talent. They've got a very, very deep roster. And then the flexibility they have with the three Bucks first-round picks, two pick swaps, and all the Lakers picks, great uh, trading chips going forward. So I love what David Griffin's doing with the organization. Because okay. yeah, ideally you're not going to – you're not going to – not every one of those draft picks I agree is going to be like – they're going to likely package with David Griffin – he or he constructed the architect of the Cavs team at LeBron. If he's very creative with the cap, like I, I think that's a great move for both sides. I mean, why would you not if you're the Bucks? Yeah, I, NBA trade. I, I it snuck up on me. I think it snuck up on a lot of people. But the NBA like off season frenzy is. is I it. I we have the our NBA draft shows tomorrow night. I was I was oh, sure. blown yeah. away when somebody said the draft was Wednesday night. Like yeah. you're in for the draft show. I'm like, yeah, sure. When is it? They go two days. So tune in for that. Um, let's move into the post-show now. I have quite a few post-show topics here. As a, as a rundown fan, the post-show was always a, a favorite part of, uh, yeah. of I've already me. muted the one person who did the first reply that's saying this crew sucks. I've already muted that person. <laughs> <laughs> the heads up. You, we, yeah, okay. Uh, Owen. Owen is full-time. Owen, why don't you come over here? I, I gave Owen a, a warning. Let's give Owen a nice round of here? applause. Is it? Well. Is he? Yeah. That's the intern. Yeah, that's yeah. the intern. Is he going to come over that's, here? That's or? the intern corner. I warned, I warned oh, yeah. Owen that I'd want him on. He's a good guy. Um, Real good guy. Owen is officially full-time. Uh, big part of the yak. Anus producer. Gambling mm -hmm. intern. Uh, congratulations, Owen. Thank you. So, Appreciate it. That's he got me a five-hour energy today. Going? That was a big help. Yeah, so what, what are your, uh, your main duties going to be now, full-time? Uh, still just social for the gambling team. Um, and then, like you said, helping out with Jeff and Anus. Should be fun. And then... Doing some social for the bench mob as well. How were the uh, negotiations? Uh, good. How yeah. much are you making? <laughs> I, I don't know. I haven't signed anything yet, but okay. I said I'd do it for anything. So. Dental and That might that. have been a mistake. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I like Owen because when I followed him on Twitter, I, you know when you follow someone on Twitter, you could see old DMs with him. He had a DM was like, I love you. And then another one that was like pitching a, a Thursday thought that I thought was, was solid. Um, so anyone who likes me, I'll like them back 10 times as hard. So ever since then, I've been you know, one of the many that come in here in the intern and they work their ass off. And yeah, I think we yeah. got uh, quite a few people maybe yeah. full time now from this intern. Evan class. just got full time today. Well, as well. Congratulations. I mean, that's Evan another, that's another, another clap. I guess. This is great. This is so. This is the camaraderie um, here. It's incredible. Okay, uh, Owen. Thank you. Uh, why don't you hand the mic to Frank the Tank? Frank, Frank. you want to come over? Uh, Frank was involved in an incredibly electric Jenga match today. <laughs> wow. Uh, pubes <laughs> too. Him and Nick faced off uh. against Big Cat and Roan. Big Cat with maybe the move of Jenga history to save the tower. I don't know how he did it. I don't know how he won that game. I. I, I and, and, and it sucks. I, I had a great celebration all planned. You should be two and one. You should be at least two and one. How do you feel that Nick has pulled the losing block twice? Everybody picks you to lose the losing block, but Nick's done it twice. Is he a bad teammate? No, no. Uh, when you get up to 40, it's a crapshoot. Uh, I know I've done a lot better than I expected, at least. That's, so it's the only <laughs> thing I can basically judge it on. You're, you're, you're wild up there, and you're just making great moves yeah. left and right. I, I do feel bad. I mean, and, and you're pulling out a game on defense, too. And I mean this with love and respect. That was the most annoying thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Big Cat and Frank the <laughs> And it was, it was successful. It was you almost, I mean, to make Big Cat and Roan crack, it takes a lot. Yeah. And, they, and Big Cat almost lost while he was laughing at the end. So, I mean, <laughs> I'm bummed that you guys are on. You're not out yet. You're going to have to run the table. But well, when do we play our next match? It's might be after sure. Thanksgiving. You get, a week, you get some you know, refresh the legs. Because when we win, we're gonna ha I have the 
the greatest celebration planned. Can we get Do you think if like Roan hadn't have uh, brought the 20 chicken nuggets, you would have had a chance of winning? That had no effect whatsoever. I think it had you a little distracted. No. Because you were taking nugget breaks. If you weren't well, taking the nugget breaks, it would have just been constant pressure. I was taking nugget breaks when my client, when my uh, teammate was oh, going. That's, yeah. that's smart. That's smart. Uh, yeah. How much time do you spend preparing the material and songs? It all comes right to my head. It flows through them, like the force. I mean, just think next year you'll be uh, watching, you'll be hearing this. It's a high fly ball off the green monster, and the Red Sox win. DJ LeMahieu with the hit. Okay, of well, course, Frank, today. Well, look at that. That was, that was right. Yeah, yeah. And Duhar. <laughs> just, I was out of nowhere. No. Yeah, and Duhar <laughs> had his 18th error to set up that base hitting run. Okay, well, we don't you need to. Yeah, you thought he was going to yes, use an right. example from today. I didn't yeah. know where he was he going just, with that. He just burned you on LeMahieu live. I yeah. didn't know where he was going. That was, no uh, one is safe. How does it feel to be the New York team that's on a budget? Well, uh, let's, let's <laughs> stop acting like you won a World Series because you have a new owner who was a crook. Crook and Steve Cullen, who had the largest fine in SEC history. Um, Not guilty. Next up for the after show, to, this morning on Twitter, we had maybe one of the great Barstool Twitter battles in quite some time. KFC versus Jeff D. Lowe over the Mandalorian. Um, Things were getting very intense. Jeff D. Lowe dropped a... This rundown is chaos. Jeff D. Lowe <laughs> yeah. dropped a... This is like, what's going on when the, when the parents are away? Big whiff here, Kevin. Ha ha. A couple of... How many LOL and ha ha's can one man tweet, Jeff? Um, so, yeah, just have at it. We already had... We, yeah, we, we kind of talked about CCK, oh, though. We kind of like, But yeah. I maintain, well, but I maintain, you can't have your, your Friday morning tweet every week be like, Wow! Not, Holy though. shit! The Mandalorian did it again. That was my point. It's not. I mean, though. it, it really is. Check the no, it's not though. I mean, you. I'm, I'm not gonna. I, I didn't go through all your tweets, and I'm sure. I definitely have a couple, but it's not every week though. It's you put out you enough been, of a vibe that you would be like Mr. Mandalorian, and then then to have your take be like, yeah. no, I actually think it's pretty average, and I understand what your criticism. But I didn't are, say that either. I think it's good. Like, I just don't think. I don't think it's the greatness that. Because you're going for the take of is it overrated? Is it not that great? It's not. It's not. Not a great show. And then you kind of. And then like you and John kind of slowly started pooing on it a little bit. Well, yeah, you get me going. That show sucks. <laughs> that show is the same exact. But thing that's, every yeah, that's different than. That's different than. If overrated. you're not a Star Wars fan, that show five more episodes is gonna be like I never need to watch this again. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. What do you think is gonna happen that's gonna change it so rapidly? Right? I hope you're right. But, but well, for me, like, like you got so excited about the the, the other. The Bo Rakan or whatever her name is, or whatever. Yeah, but there's people. I don't know. Like, who, I don't know who that is. Uh, yeah, it doesn't like, mean anything to me, you know. Large Hank, Dave. They, they don't know that character. They love the episode. Yeah, I mean, Dave's an idiot. Baby Yoda, Baby Yoda says hello. Baby Yoda says hello. Like he, he likes the frog lady. The frog False. lady is, is the worst character maybe in the history of television. So. What are you kidding me? The frog lady. I like if the show. I, I do not like the frog lady. I would I chop the frog lady's head off with a lightsaber if I had the chance. Star Wars, shot, Star Wars reference. Star Wars She's a liability. Yeah. She's the worst. Yeah. She's um, terrible. So yeah, liability. Jeff Dilo but... and KFC clearly hate each other now. Uh, I think <laughs> that's it for the rundown. We'll Anything else? Um, like I that. got the Doc Shock. It's dropping on Thursday. It's my last video filmed in China. Uh, my last Shanghai Sharks video. So, I mean, I might do a preemptive must-watch on my own video. So okay, that's fair enough. You can, you can believe You're me You're on trivia. Not. Yeah, You're going to be on, on trivia, trivia tonight. tonight. Me, yep. uh, NBA draft Smitty, show on Wednesday night. And maybe Glenny if he's not busy with Caleb in Atlanta against, <laughs> <laughs> against Brandon and PFT. Yeah, new trivia. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Can we get an original song from Frank to uh, close yeah, out yeah, the rundown? Prepared. Ooh, give me another Yankee song. One more, give me another no, Yankee. Yankee song. Let's no, do, let's a, do uh, a Thanksgiving pop culture rundown. This is the rundown. <laughs> It's the boys to run down. Brought to you by CBD and the The run down. The run down. Brought to you by CBD and the The run down. The run down. Brought to you by CBD and the Run down. Bars to run down. Brought to you by CBD so hard to predict. <laughs> All right. All right. I always try to predict where you're going. I can never. When you when, uh, no, when you zig, I zag. It's crazy. Unpredictable. <laughs> oh and I literally came up with that on the storm.